Hi, I'm Blake with Northwinds Wilderness School. Um, Travis Henry out of Kansas sent me this sort of hand drill fire making gift basket. Um, a few materials that I don't really have access to up here in Minnesota and then a couple things that I have worked with before. But I appreciated the gift so much that it sort of inspired me to make this little video. Um, I think a lot of people view hand drill fire making as something sort of mystical or um, too difficult to attain. And it's not. Uh, I actually think hand drill fire making is easier than the bow drill. It's just a different skill. Um, there's a few things that you need to know uh, to make a fire with a hand drill. And the first is that you need to condition your hands. Um, if you go and try to make a fire for the first time without any conditioning, you're going to tear your hands up, you're going to get blisters, and then you're out of the game for a couple weeks while you heal up. Um, so I'm going to show you really quick just how I like to condition my hands and how I like to keep in practice when I'm not making fires. Um, and all you need is a spindle. It doesn't even have to be a functional one. This is mullein. Um, this would make a fire. But all you're doing for conditioning, and you can do this inside or outside, is spinning the spindle. I've just got it sitting on the ground here. And I'm doing long strokes from fingertip to fingertip. I'm using the bottom of my hand. I'm using the top of my hand and I'm using the middle of my hand. When you're making fires, if you can utilize those three different zones on your hand, uh, you'll save yourself some pain. So all I'm doing to condition is I'm sitting here and spinning this spindle. Letting my hands get used to what it feels like, feeling the knots in the wood, the bends in the wood, and the friction of my hands rubbing together like this. And if you do this for five, ten minutes a day while you're watching TV or whatever, after a couple weeks, your hands should be tough enough, calloused enough, to start making some fires. Um, I will make a full video on my hand drill preparation and technique in the near future, but for now, if you want to practice some conditioning, by the time we get this other video out, you should be good to go. The other thing I want to show you today is a technique called floating hands. So when you're making a fire with a hand drill, you need to warm up your materials. You need to warm up the spindle, warm up the hearthboard, and create that good marriage between the two. And the floating hands is a really good low energy way to do it. And again, all you do is you need your hearth board, you need your spindle, and you start spinning it. And if you're just spinning it, your hands will work their way down the spindle. To keep your hands at the top, you do what's called floating hands. So you're gonna turn one up and one down. And you'll notice that you can even walk up the spindle. So if you can practice your hand conditioning, you practice your floating hands technique, by the time you get ready to start a fire, you should be ready to go. Thank you.